After months of speculation, Alien Covenant has finally been unleashed upon the world in all its gory glory. Whatever your feelings are about the return to the franchise, there are still some considerable inconsistencies in the story to discuss. That's why we've rounded up some plot holes that you could fit a chestburster through. Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my raccoon gal! But before you keep watching, just be aware, there are major spoilers ahead, so please, tread carefully. Not like that guy. That guy's dead. Not so handy. Alien Covenant's big plot twist at the end comes with the reveal that it's actually the nefarious David aboard the ill-fated Covenant, not his kinder synthetic brother Walter. In order for David to effectively fool the surviving crew, he must assume Walter's identity completely, and that includes cutting off his hair and one of his hands. Walter notably lost his own hand while protecting Daniels earlier in the film, but something about that doesn't completely add up. When Walter and David duke it out on the surface of the planet, we learn that Walter's been built with self-healing technology, allowing him to recover from being fatally stabbed in the neck. So if he can recover from mortal injuries in minutes, why can't he heal a dismembered limb over the course of the film? Sure, regrowing a hand is probably tough, but so is coming back from the dead. Safety first. Sci-fi and action films have caused us to become accustomed to watching smart characters do incredibly dumb things for our entertainment, and Alien Covenant is no exception. From Orem sticking his head somewhere no reasonable person would ever want to approach, to the crew following David into the cave of nightmares he calls a home, the movie is loaded with maddeningly stupid moments. But the decision that stands out among all the others is the one that sees the entire crew not bothering to don helmets once they've landed on the engineer's planet. This is a foreign, unstudied ecosystem, and there's no guarantee the humans will be able to, or even should, breathe the air there. The lack of protective gear leaves a pretty convenient entry point for the death spores into unsuspecting characters' ears and noses. But logically speaking, nobody would set foot on an uncharted planet without first making sure they were completely protected from the elements. Even if the biggest threat is basically the world's worst pollen allergy. What came first? It's very clearly established in Aliens that the Queen lays the eggs. Both very simple and very gross. But the overcomplicated explanations for the creature's beginnings, first introduced in Prometheus, are further built upon here. Alien Covenant reveals it was actually David who created them in the first place, Dr. Frankenstein style. Ten years in isolation makes a man do weird things with eggs. But how did he engineer them without the Queen? Did he create the Queen too? Is he the creator of all alien life forms, or just some? David spends years crossbreeding the Neomorphs in pursuit of a more perfect organism, and by the end of Alien Covenant, we see the familiar Xenomorph, the end result of all that experimentation. But if the events of Alien took place about 20 years later, how did the space jockey ship in that movie end up being filled with eggs? The more we learn about this mythology, the less sense it makes. Pod People Problems The catalyst for Alien Covenant's ongoing nightmare is an energy surge which forces the ship's crew out of hypersleep early. Unfortunately, not everybody makes it out of their sleep pods in time, and Captain Jacob Branson catches on fire and dies. Well, you're not feeling good? I'm just burning up. But what actually happened to his pod? Did it just malfunction? Did it have something to do with the energy surge? Can they maybe invent a pod that doesn't double as a barbecue? Or did Covenant just want to give a little gift to the audience in the form of James Franco's smoldering corpse? I mean, I have a very good life. Either way, thank you, movie. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.